come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, where every Saturday night we get together, watch a movie, and then talk about it for your listening pleasure. Hey, do us a favor, if you can, wherever you found us, be it iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, Google Play, give us a star rating or a like or a a thumbs up, whatever they have there, because all of that helps us get found uh, through the algorithms, right, for other like-minded folks like yourself. So we want to spread the word of what we're doing, the Saturday Night Freak Show. The good word. The good word. That's right. No down votes. No down votes. That's, that's no, just the good word. So who are these internet radio superstars? Michaela. Sean. Holly. And I'm Colin. And tonight's movie was chosen by... Colin! What do we watch tonight? Tonight we watched a movie from 1975 called The Devil's Ray. Who is in the Devil's Reign, Colin? Oh, man, this is an all-star cast, all Sean. Stars. I'm glad you asked. We've got William Shatner. Bill Shatner. Ernest Borgnine. Ernie Borgnine. Ida Lupino. No, no sure. No. No, no, how no idea. <laughs> yep. No? Nope. Don't no. Don't know. I know her from Lucy. That's about it. Yeah. And uh, The Food of the Gods, another like oh, yeah. show-ready movie mm-hmm. about giant uh, you know, like animals. That, yeah. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah, I guess Ida Lupino was also like one of the like she's a director also like she directed a shitload of Twilight Zones and stuff like that. Huh. Uh, also, John Travolta, mm-hmm. the one and only and Eddie got, Albert, who got left <laughs> off the cover, Colin. Besides Eddie Albert, Tom Skerritt, Tom Skerritt, and doing Keenan his best Wynn. George Harrison impression. Yeah, <laughs> late Beatles. <laughs> what did you say before that though, Sonny Bono? Sonny Bono. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why is Sonny He's Bono got the hanging Sonny Bono, Bono, like Sonny Bono uh, yeah. mustache? Yeah, that stash and that kind of the bowl cut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Damn. I don't know. The world was a different place in it 1975. Really was. So here's a little bit of trivia so about this movie. movie. Who directed uh, it? Oh, sorry, uh, Robert Fwest. Fwest. Who also Fwest. directed, um, if you're familiar with, The Abominable Dr. Fibes. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. And yeah. Dr. Oh, Fibes shit. Rises, rises Again. again? Yeah, yeah, the two Vincent Price right. films, which we keep saying we're going to bring on this show at some point, maybe. Did we'll... Fibes not make it? I thought Fibes not was yet. We haven't done either of the Dr. Fibes. Okay, movies. but he brought Zardoz. <laughs> okay. well, yeah, duh. Like, <laughs> we haven't brought Fibes, Zardoz. All right, we need to watch Fibes. <laughs> Uh, this movie was uh, released by Bryanston Pictures. Anybody heard that name before? No. That sounds like a fake company. It does. Bryanston. It was a fake company. <laughs> it, was a, it was a front for the Colombo crime family out of New York, oh. uh, run by two brothers, uh, the Perennio Peren- brothers, who made their fortune, well, I guess in, you know, whatever the mob was doing, but they moved into uh, uh, porn with the distribution. They financed Deep Throat. Oh, Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And it made a ton of money. And then they also financed the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, nice. Right. Right. Yeah, that's why uh, Toby Hooper keeps saying that he never got paid for that that money because the money that Bryanston made, uh, they got busted for obscenity charges. And uh, I think uh, Tony... Perino f- skipped to Italy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. So I think they they made like five grand on the Texas Chainsaw. Oh wow, yeah. that's a shame. Yeah, this came out the year after, so this mm-hmm. would be 1975. I think by this point, uh, the Perinos, Peranos, Perino, whatever they were, uh, had skipped the country, but still we had Bryanson. So yeah, it's a front company for the mob. So there you go. Well, they made their impact. Cool. Oh in shit, the movies. You know who else is in this movie? Technical <laughs> advisor. Oh yeah, Anton Lavey. Yeah, who's he? He's the head of the Satanic Church. Yeah, technically mm-hmm. the Church of Satan. Still going? Is he? He's dead. Okay, he yeah. died. His I was wondering. Was I over. never knew how uh, old he was because I've always heard of Anton Lavey. Yeah, because he wrote the Satanic Bible. Yeah, mm-hmm. he founded the Church of Satan in mm-hmm. 1966, mm-hmm. and he was a technical advisor on this movie. Yes. So this is all for real. It's the real <laughs> shit. This is a documentary, That's basically. <laughs> With well, Ernest Borgnine. I know, because I'm like, if this is, I think uh, Anton LaVey was a advisor on one other movie that was like Dracula's Daughter or something. Mm. It's something I can't remember. Dracula's Dog. No, I can't remember what it was called, but I'm like, okay, so these are the two movies you've got. Huh? This is what the Church of Satan endorses. Right. It's like, these people got it right. <laughs> Dracula and fucking Devil's Reign. The Devil's Reign. Right. So we're looking at actual black mass in the Devil's Reign. 
I wonder how many, uh, like, if you join the Church of Satan, do you, like, I think you get eventually get eyeless? Oh. Like, is that, a th- is that a thing that happens at I some assume. point? You were going card. I was like, you lose <laughs> your eyes. Card? That's what <laughs> I'm like worried about. Like the medallions about. they were all wearing. Like, like is that what, what you I get want. when you join like, the medallion? Is there like a yeah. monthly mailbox? You yeah. get a robe? You get a subscription box? Yeah, I want a subscription <laughs> box to the Church of Satan. Is that one of the things? You, well, you get like that the medallion. My mother-in-law you get, would be you get the, robe, the fuck out. A nice stained glass mirror or something that you can carry around. Sure. A little one. Yeah. Probably some nice uh, uh, candle holders. A little goat head. Maybe it will help. Maybe the yeah. globe TV with the goat head. On yeah, top. maybe like a little, <laughs> little model version of it. Yeah. It shows like two channels. Yeah. One is like <laughs> souls yeah. tormented in hell. <laughs> yep. The other one's like antenna TV. <laughs> it wouldn't be a TV. It'd be a fucking snow globe. Basically, <laughs> if you know. Uh, yeah. It up. Just random things. People are floating around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm in from the merchandising of this movie. Like, let's do that. That seems well, right for that's it. Because I think, like, uh, I mean, why is it that the uh, when? It, well, I suppose priests get robes and stuff, but they don't look as cool as like satanic robes. Or am no, I way off? You get the well, cloak. Yeah, I think it's the hood. There's the no hood hoods cloak. in the uh, the uh, I'm a, a, the religions that um, uh, you know worship God. If you're worshiping Satan, you get the, the right, robe. You your head yeah. uncovered. Yeah. 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 You cover your head. The dark you. hooded figure. You yeah. Know? Yeah. You don't get that Classic. with Jesus. <laughs> it did look like some of the robes were either different, depending on like, like it looked like it was shoddy costume work because some people had like different or ill-fitting robes oh, yeah. for there were other like people. Oh, good ones. Yeah. And then they get into the they shitty, get shitty ones. Just yeah. Because like, eh. Tom Scary definitely got one of the shitty ones later on. Because yeah. like we talked about, it looked like yeah, he was wearing an ill-fitting Ex- hoodie. hoodie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he looked like he was going to Eight Mile. Because it was really tight yeah. in the shoulders on him, but yeah. like the hood it was really tight around his it face. It was really too. pulled yeah. tight on his head. Yeah. Yeah, he, his was a few sure sizes too small. It like he, he took it off of a smaller cultist. <laughs> yeah, it looked yeah. like he had some dope rhymes up his sleeves. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> like, he he look, it <laughs> literally. Tom scared. <laughs> <I'm here> to <laughs> say. <laughs> he literally looked like he pulled all the strings like as much as far as he could on a hoodie while you have it yeah. over your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this movie has been described uh, by one reviewer as the ultimate cult movie because it is about uh, a cult. It has a cult following. Uh, it was I, I, conceived with the participation. I condemn everything this viewer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. The Places. ultimate cult movie. And then he waited around for the reaction for it. Yeah, it's like, no, no, no. Well, it's me. No, no, Tom. No, Tom. Yeah. And also <laughs> had the participation of a cult member and uh, another, an actor who later was indoctrinated into a cult that he made popular. Oh, that's true. True. Yep. That's true. That's the real your, story here. That's true. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what is uh, what's the devil's reign? What do we got going on here? What what what's uh, what do we have going yeah, on? Here, Colin? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Very true. I mean, we get right into it. Yeah, in the, this movie, there's no fucking so around. much so that it's quite confusing. It, it may, it, yeah, the movie right that makes it, it's, it's just it's like you got to keep up. Yeah. The movie wants you to like be right in there. Who are them. these people? We're not going to fucking tell you. We're just going. No, We're just going with like, this. We just want the book. Yeah. yeah. It, and the, yeah, because the, the, the object is always like a book or something, right? This is always a thing in satanic movies. Yeah, there's always emblems and, and chains and books and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. This particular book contains all of the names of... Uh, of it's Satan's legend. It's the book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you want to live it's deliciously... The, the book yeah. of life. This is the this book is you the sign. Book of, yeah. of Satan. Mm-hmm. If you'd like a pretty dress mm-hmm. or butter, mm-hmm. you have to sign this or book. Or to live deliciously. Or to live yeah. deliciously. You have to sign this that book goddamn book. sign. Mm-hmm. I want to live deliciously. Mm-hmm. I mean, don't we all? <laughs> Aren't we? I mean, I brought Butterfingers. So. Mm-hmm. We live in a world where the Devil's Reign is available on Blu-ray from Severn Films right now. You can go. Pick oh it up. shit! Is it really? Oh yeah, it just when came you out. Upgrade, Colin. Uh, well, I yeah, I'm living with the old Dark Sky Films uh, edition, but I think the, the the you know probably conveys the same information. Is it the same? <laughs> is it the same art on the video box? Uh, no, oh, God, I hope not. No. no. This is uh, bad art. This is like a 3D video game in Windows 95. Yeah, yes. that's the yes. cover of yes. this it really is. DVD. <laughs> but really like, is. when you say video game, you really mean like one of those like word-based video games where you're just mostly like choosing your Maybe, answer. Yeah. 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 Or yeah. <laughs> or there's just the one dude with yeah. like an eight-bit dude with a cross running through shit. Yeah. yeah. Like that's pretty much oh, it. Oh man, I love those games. <laughs> I do too. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. This thing is what it looks like. I'm saying it's yeah. bad. Yeah. Oh. Saying, I don't enjoy this it. This is a movie though, mm. so not a video game. <laughs> yeah. so. This is not a video game from 1995. <laughs> <laughs> it's a video cover from 1995. No, I don't know when this came out. Only, so it might be. Uh, so yeah, you're saying that the movie kind of gets right into it. Uh, it's a storm. 
We're somewhere in possibly ranch house, somewhere out in the middle of a desert, mm-hmm. where William Shatner sure knows how to make an entrance. Oh, yeah. I mean, this oh, guy yeah. is a consummate actor. Sure. He's an actor. Yeah. He knows where to put his pauses. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> he does. <laughs> well, yeah. He knows where he should, well... Where he, he wants yeah. to put him. He, he puts his paws where he wants to put yeah. his paws. That's basically He's the it. man that knows his mind. Let's oh, just yeah. say that. It's like, Bill, can you not put that pause right there? It's like, what do you mean? <laughs> That's pretty accurate. <laughs> That's I also it. think he's at his zenith here with uh, a straw cowboy hat. I think. I mean, uh, it doesn't get better or worse. And that like, mustard puffy jacket he had. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I'm trying to think, like, the other movie that I, uh, you know, this is... Post Star Trek, but pre Star Trek the Motion Picture. Mm. So this is in the dead zone of William uh, Shatner's career, where he did you know some uh, uh, fantastic films, including Kingdom of the Spiders. This is pre that even too, yeah. But in that movie, doesn't he wear like a similar costume? Yeah, he's very also much, got a, he's a sheriff hat. of a western town. Yeah, in that movie. Damn, what? That's what I'm thinking. This yeah. guy wants Let's to live this. on this. I know. Yeah. Well, he goes that movie. I have it. it. It'll probably come to the freak show right, at some good. point. Oh, it's right, got to right. show up. It's, I haven't yep. seen that in yeah. years. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Yeah, but yeah, his entrance is uh, you back you back into a scene and then turn around. Yeah, and show your face at camera. Duh, you gotta that's make it a reveal. It. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's it? what we I'm don't saying. know. It's like water. Yeah. yeah, is it Travolta? Yeah, who it's is like, it? That's that's almost like the dramatic turn into the shot. Yeah, the soap opera turn. Yeah. Is that like something the director gives him advice on, or he's like, no, 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 this is how I want to I feel come like he directed movie. himself in yeah. this movie. I feel, and picked yeah. his own I feel costume. like in his head, like in his head when he turns around, he's like, Shatner. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> I feel like he knew, like, everyone's going to know who I am. So, like, yeah. I'm just going to hold off a little bit and be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Shatner. Shatner. Yeah. And we learned very quickly Shatner, on that Shatner, someone Shatner. has the book, someone named Corbus. <laughs> no, they're looking for no, the book. No, Corbus is looking for the book. Yeah. But Shatner's dad. Ida Lupino's husband has wandered off to go find Corvus and has returned with no eyes in his head. And he also melts in the rain. Yep. And this isn't the first like, <laughs> <They're>, five, <laughs> three to five minutes of this movie. Yeah. And they're not appropriately alarmed by this at all. They're not like, shocked yeah. in the slightest. They just care, keep what, did you having see their Shatner's conversation. Re- but Shatner's reaction? He's like, ah, yeah, but ah, then they just keep there having the conversation yeah. that they were having. Yeah. He didn't react until he completely melted. Yeah. He's standing there melting in front of him and they're just staring. It's like, my God, help that man. At least get him a towel. Mm-hmm. Something. Yeah. Get him out of the rain. <laughs> yeah. He's made of wax. God damn it. <laughs> Which is apparently what wax happens. Wax and pudding. Yeah. <laughs> sherbet. Yeah, sherbet. Sean, yeah, Sean said it looked like sherbet. It really like did. Sherbet. Yeah, it really did. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so this kicks off the plot. Does this kick off the plot? I think basically it's like we got to go. Or he says, give Corbus what he wants, which we determine is his book. book, Its significance at this point, we don't know, other than it's the satanic MacGuffin. And uh, Shatner has to run off to a a Western town called Redstone. I'll give him credit for the opening of this movie. Not many old movies are just going to put you right into it. Mm -hmm. They're going to. Get in, like they'll show you a character, and you'll follow him for a while, and it'll take it'll take you forever to learn about these people and what's going on. This just the, throws you into the shit. This movie is very much like there's things you don't need to know. Yeah, they even like basically reference that later on. The doctor says it. <laughs> oh my god, that guy. Those are the questions guy. not to be answered right now, Tom Scarrett. <laughs> that guy was in such a different movie, oh, and no. I love it. Exposition dump. Yeah. But in a very like happy way. It's like, well, we can well, look at but this. But also so put upon. Like, why are you asking me this right now? Is kind of his attitude yeah. for some of that. Yeah, yeah no, no. We yeah. have to focus on what's going to help us. You can't ask these questions. Those are stupid questions, Tom yeah. Scarrett. Don't worry about it later. <laughs> but what do they want? Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this figured out. I've looked at this book for 10 minutes. I right? got it. <laughs> right? Like, that's what I was trying to figure out. It just seems like out. everything is like, well, this is common sense. Like, this is this, and this is this, and here we go. Yeah, but all these people suddenly have MBAs in Satanism. I, I, right? <laughs> it's something that these people should probably know nothing about. Right, yeah. <laughs> Although there is a family, apparently there's a family history to this that at least Shatner, his mother, and the John dude know about. Yeah, but but Tom Garrett doesn't know anything, and the doctor seems to know everything. That's very true. Why? It's his family. Right, this doctor right. is like all for like telekinesis and seeing things. He's yeah. like, oh yeah, I know about Satanism too. Yeah, well, that's my second PhD. He's into all things occult and supernatural. Just all of it. He's the Van Helsing of the yeah. story. 
Well, uh, Scarrett's character is a uh, is also a doctor, right? Like him and his wife, they work at the hospital. Is he a doctor? I thought he was like, like a. He said a... Doctor Preston at one point oh, referred to him. I thought he was like a medical assistant of some sort. Right. Yeah, I think he was just hanging out in the back, very lazily. Doctors were lazy in the seventies. Yeah. <laughs> Smoking and whatnot, just hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're called into service because uh, Shatner actually does confront. Uh, the the evil Jonathan Corbis. Yeah. In Fucking the Ernest Rockstown. Borgnine. Borgnine. Who the hell thought it was a good idea to cast Ernest Borgnine right. in this in this role? I don't think they were casting Borgnine as much as they were casting his eyebrows. Yeah. That feels and like where teeth. most of the acting <laughs> and the teeth. And that feels teeth. like where most of the acting and power, I mean, if I may say, of Ernest Borgnine at, comes from. At no point does he look menacing. He just looks jolly. But I don't, but I think maybe that adds to the like. Maybe that adds something. That depends who you are. It makes are. it I mean, off, kind of? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. It's like it's Ernest Borgnine, but he's obviously something's off about this character. I enjoyed I enjoyed the interaction when, they, when fucking uh, Shatner first comes to the town. Because that's the meaning of the Titan. Yeah, but I like that they're just kind of like, they know. When he first gets there, I dig that too, because it is very like Wild Western confrontation. But then when we figure out who he is, and there's like a little more into it, and we're like, what the fuck? Ernest Borgnine is like this... Crazy devil goat dude. Yeah, it does. It that's insane casting. Yeah. Insane. Well, it depends maybe on what you know Ernest Borgnine from. Yes. Well, I don't know. I mean, like I know basketball. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, escape from, basketball. or escape from New York or uh, the Black Hole. But oh, yeah, I yeah, think, those movies. Or well, he was a bad guy in the Poseidon Adventure, <laughs> yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah. he? But he's a good guy in the Great Escape. Was he the Great Escape? He wasn't in the Great Escape. He wasn't. No, Dirty Dozen. Mm. Uh, I can't okay. talk to that. Yeah. I'm not sure. That, Definitely yeah. not great. I know he won an Oscar for a movie called Marty, which yeah. apparently he had a touching performance. I think he had been bad guys in movies prior to that, and then that was like, oh, he can be a big softie. Oh, and- Marty. He was in a very good episode of Home Improvement. Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Sean's he reference was. points for something are completely. Oh different yeah, I don't us. like. I don't have the normal reference points for these people. It's just like, oh, I've seen them in things, and then later learn what. They're but from. this is Ernest good to know Borgnine. that Ernest oh, yeah. is still basketball relevant. Home basketball at home. Basketball. Was basketball his last movie? I Maybe. remember him being in that. Uh, yeah. What a, what a way to go out. That, but uh, hey, he was a good character in that movie. No, no, I know. <laughs> That's a good I movie. Enjoy that yeah, movie. no, I love, yeah. I absolutely. enjoy the movie, but to be Ernest Borgnine and have a Trey Parker and Matt Stone movie be your last movie. <laughs> right? Uh, that was interesting... a Zucker Brothers movie, actually. Basketball? Were, like, it was oh, that's right. They were like, in he, it, but they it wasn't in their it, movie. Yeah, he, worked, right. he worked with Clint Eastwood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's and what you remember him from. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. Again, those are the ones that stick, and then I learn the history of these people yeah. later on. He was in it. the Dirty Dozen. I love he it. Yeah, the, okay. And yeah. the Wild yeah. Bunch. The Wild oh, Bunch! Oh, that's right. it! That's right. what I yeah. remember him from. Yeah. I just watched that movie not too long ago, yeah. Oh, God, his last... Oh, my God, his last role was doing voice work for SpongeBob. Oh yeah, he mermaid man. He was mermaid man. <laughs> he was mermaid man. Of course, Sean remembers the, the okay, mermaid man. Okay, that's legit. SpongeBob's that, awesome. That's a good way He's to go. Like, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Yes. What was he like? Ni- did he make it to ninety or late eighties for it. sure? Oh, he seemed old. He seemed old as fucking this movie. He's yeah. always been old. He's always two thousand twelve. Oh wow. He died in two thousand twelve. Mm. He's always been old. Mm. Ernest Borgnine. Yeah. I don't know. Does he make a good Satanist though? Well, I mean, this movie he goes. He goes from being like cowboy Satanist because everybody wears a. You know, you're in a Western town. Yeah. You do as you do when you're in Rome, right? You wear the cowboy hat, and then he graduates to the long flowing red robe look. I kind of want yeah. a more cowboy Satanist. I'm not gonna <laughs> yeah, lie. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted a little more Western out well, of this yeah, movie. Yeah, I did too. Why? I like, liked it. Why was he not wearing a black hat? Like he yeah. should have been wearing a black hat. He was yeah. wearing, yeah, he was wearing, a, he was wearing a white Stetson. Mm-hmm. Like that's not. Yeah. He kind of dressed right. a little bit like a sheriff. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Like he shouldn't have been full on. Um, uh, man in black and Westworld. No, like, he no, shouldn't no. have been that, but like somewhere between where he was and that. Yeah. You know? yeah, for sure. I just wonder if like was this movie written to take place in an old West town. Or was that like, you know, the director or, you know, like uh, a Shatner or somebody said, you know, like, hey, why don't we just do it, you know? I mean, I wonder if like, as a Western, I wonder we've if always they, wanted to make a Western. I wonder if they knew that they had to do a lot of it in the desert and they're just like, well, we're in the desert. What, you know, what else is out here? Old also, West towns. Well, also, we have this town. 
like it. Yeah. The, the availability of the town and things you can blow up and do shit with yeah. may have had a big factor on that. So I'm like, all right, let's dress it up a little bit for that. It has the old church that's become the satanic church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The fact that it was in a West Town was like one of my favorite parts of this. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I loved that it was in a well, West Town. Well, it's nicely town. shot, yeah. too. It's yeah. shot like a Western in it some is. ways. I mean, the yeah. nice widescreen cinematography mountains yeah. in mm-hmm. the back. I just like yeah. the shooting through things, especially when like Tom Scare's wandering through the town. They're shooting through the, the glass. Like they're inside like all they're the buildings inside as he's out, walking yeah. around mm-hmm. and everything. Like he's mm-hmm. being watched. Yeah. Yeah. I like that, too. I like that. Yeah. That's right. It has those moments where he chases the John Travolta character into the, into, you know, I mean, that's he's Who going in with John a rifle. John Travolta character. <laughs> he plays like two. <laughs> yeah? Isn't it just the one, like... I think uh, the one guy, something happens to him, it seems. Like, they, they wrestle, and he's... Well, oh, when he re- falls down the stairs, yeah. and then that yeah, girl just, sees the vision in his not eyes. Yeah, he's the, he's the information that we, like... The, the reason that characters can go forward in this movie is because John Travolta... Yeah, that's yeah. how important his role is. This, it's this true. One, He's the anchor of this film. <laughs> it's how this movie you said it. earns its credentials as being just kind of batshit crazy. Because yeah, she looks into his uh, his vacant eyes and sees fire in there. And in the fire, I feel like you could still look into his vacant eyes and see fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably, true. Yep. probably spells out, "Help me, I'm trapped in this cult." <laughs> Well, it takes us yeah. just, it's to, just uh, said that since 1975. Yeah. <laughs> but it takes us back to it was this like cult, the, uh, then the Sweat Hogs. That was another cult. <laughs> yeah. And the then Sweat Scientology. Hogs. Welcome back, Cotter. Oh, Welcome back, Cotter. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Was this before Vinny Vinny knows with a rubber, rubber hose? hose. Vinny Bobarino. Come was on. That, uh, Mr. Cotter. Oh, oh. No? Was that 75? When it was. That was oh, it was definitely Cotter. after this. Because Greece is like 77. 78. 78. Yeah. So it's, it was Carrie, it's, it's, it's right Saturday around, Fever, and then Grease. Same time. Yeah, yeah. So it's right around. It's right around this time. I well, think. Well, he only has one line in this, which is blasphemer. Yeah, <laughs> in the whole movie. <laughs> but he does so much more. That's right. He's pivotal <laughs> in the, uh, the taking you back to the 1600s, where Ernest Borgnine gets his third look as a pilgrim, evil pilgrim Satanist, <laughs> and William Shatner gets his best look. <laughs> I would. That Argue. wig, that wig, the wig. ponytail wig. Oh my god, it's so good! I wanted it back. I wanted oh. it back so bad. The long hair wig. wig this yeah. is what everybody wore back then. That was a, that was a shake hair. and go from like a costume store for sure. Yeah, yeah. they would put no work into that wig. No. They they no. popped that out of the hair net. It came out of it and threw it on his head. Yeah. And that was his it. His real hair was popping out. From the <laughs> yeah. just, He's yeah. a very whiny guy. In the this is his Martin Fife. His yes. uh, his sixteen hundreds era. Version yeah. of himself. So wait. So I got a question for you because on this viewing, I wasn't entirely clear about this. Uh, the villagers at some point. Well, Corbus. The book has been taken from Corbus by Martin Fife's wife, who has betrayed the cult. Yes. Right. So the townspeople show up armed with torches, as you do, which you have to have in these things. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Borgnine gets saddled with lines like, you know, "Have thou come to thee with the, you know, whatever." <laughs> uh, and so at some point before the villagers come in and they're going to torch them all, Corbus talks to his son and says, doth thou knowest the rights, you know, and hands him the bell book and candle or whatever mm-hmm. yeah. and says, you know, take off. So does Corbus die in on the pyre and his son is the, uh, the current modern day or a descendant is the modern day guy or uh, is Ernest Borgnine's character Corbus has he lived through for 300 years? Solid question. Good question. Yep. <laughs> our, ending, our ending leads me to believe that maybe he survived all that shit. Yeah, the, yeah, I would say the ending makes me think that he just keeps living. I don't know, because we don't really know what like what happens to the sun if like descendants keep going from that. That would mm-hmm. also make sense. I think either one is a plausible uh, explanation the, for what goes on. These are not the questions to ask right now, Colin. <laughs> yeah, yes. Well, I just I missed that before. This is yeah. the first time I'm like, oh, there's a kid. Why is yeah. that in here? Is this... I think either or. Yeah. So these two families are locked in uh, you know, a violent struggle yeah. for yeah. 300 years They're trying to recover this their book. Their fates will be intertwined forever. And get it back to the, yeah, the devil. So Borgnine's fourth appearance in the movie <laughs> is Holly's favorite. Where he shows up as the fucking goat, <laughs> the goat. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. The fucking like, dude from Sorcerers, pre uh, pre Star Wars makeup effects. And, um, 
Ernest Scared Stupid. He does look like the trolls in Ernest Scared Stupid. He does. Wait, Ernest Borgnine was wearing makeup? I didn't notice a difference. (laughs) (laughs) Rams. uh, Oh, yeah, the ram horns and everything. That's very true. Oh, yeah. It's you haven't lived until you've seen. I mean, this is one of those moments, right, that you kind of watch this movie for is to see. I mean, he's a movie star, right, of a certain caliber. Yeah. And now in this movie, he's all he's doing you know, a Satanist movie. Yeah. yeah. Like Plus I, you get a little. Like I belly laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get a little peek like earlier on because the wife, uh, Tom Scarrett's wife, sees visions. So she's li- she sees little bits of the future. And things are going to happen. And you get just the slightest peak of Ernest Borgnine as a fucking ram. And it's just like, whoa, yeah. wait, what? Where are we going? It's like, all right, we have that to look forward to. I'm glad yeah. you guys didn't watch the trailer for this. No, no. no. Yeah, yeah, no I didn't surprised. either. I was going yeah. to all day. I was just like, oh, I should watch the trailer. For it's going on. I'm so glad I didn't. Because mm-hmm. it totally gives that away. Oh, but, so if yeah. you want a so good look happy. at it, uh, listener, you got to check out the trailer for The Devil's Reign. So happy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they have to, uh, uh, Skerritt and his wife have to go after um, Shatner, who's been captured by the cult. Right. And right? his whole family has disappeared at this point. Because what we didn't even describe, like, Shatner, like, yeah. fucking, like, oh, the truck is here. And so he goes out to meet the truck. Who does he think it is? He thinks it's his dad. He it's, thinks that the, the melted guy was not, not actually his father. Yeah, it couldn't be. No. <laughs> it's not your father. It's not your father. <laughs> so he goes outside and then. Mom gets taken while he's outside. Well, there's a fucking voodoo doll. There's a voodoo doll, yeah. Shit through it. Yeah. And then never in, a good sign. No, never a good sign. And then in Can't five seconds. Can't use that truck again. His whole house is ransacked. I still don't understand the voodoo doll. Who was. I think it was uh, the father. No, was it? Was it? I think so. Because but the father is dead. Like but that, the, but that the was father, his father. But the father was already, like, converted. Why would there be a voodoo doll for the father? Because maybe he wasn't, like, something happened. I don't know. We never get that yeah. story. The, again, these are not the questions. These are not the questions. Yeah. But I feel the I got it. Was for I got the father. <laughs> the, if we're already this many questions deep and we are five minutes into this. That's true. Yes. It's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to set up the, the hook. You're like, I don't know yeah. what's going on, but I'm sure they'll explain it later <laughs> on. <laughs> you, you would think. Right. <laughs> yeah, they'll explain it. We'll get there. So mom goes missing. Shatner goes to look for her. Yeah, mm-hmm. basically. And Shatner gets converted while he's there. Because he She's, embarks on a test of wills against does. the right. devil, which if any... If and movies, his wills are weak. That's right. My faith <laughs> against your faith kind of thing. <laughs> you don't do that in movies. Especially not satanic movies. No. Yeah. Because it never no, works out. You know how many people would be offended now if you did a, like, my faith versus your faith thing and... Like the fucking devil won. Doesn't he always win in the movies? I mean, yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> That's the devil always wins, Colin. In horror movies, anyway, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was the thing, like, the bargain is, like, you know, well, if I win, I get my mom and uh, dad back. And if I lose, you can have the book. And you. And you. Uh, like, you just say, no, 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 no. See, no, like, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But this is what I like about that part. I love the the good versus evil bargain. It's like, let's have a little challenge. Like, this is the story as uh, old as time, from uh, the devil went down to Georgia to <laughs> fucking the devil's reign and so on. Like, I love that. From, the, se- from the 70s to the 70s? Yep, exactly. That's how long this has been going on. <laughs> but I love that, you know, it's like, all right, let's do a bargain. Let's, a little challenge. Like, you against me, and we'll see who comes out on top. Yeah. Futurama's had several episodes yeah. about devil bargains. Like, like devil bargains. several episodes. I mean, it, it, you know, it goes back it's to trope. It goes back to fucking Faust. You know, yeah. it's yeah. been. It's been, always, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. As long as the mm-hmm. devil has existed and been yeah. written about. Even idle hands. Bargains. Even yeah. Seth Green. Even idle hands. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. But that's the problem. The devil's always a trickster. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I kind of enjoyed that in this movie that uh, for some. Because, I mean, I. I have always been watching most, uh, you know, of these religious slash satanic movies, convinced that the people who made them never read the Bible or don't know anything about religion at all. Mm. But apparently the way that you guard yourself against uh, the devil is you wear an amulet, which I don't I didn't even see like a crucifix on it. So, it was yeah. just like an as long as you wear so this. It, was amulet, like a, it almost looked Celtic. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe it was a Celtic cross or something. It's like it looked, a big circle with yeah, it intricate looks, stuff in It the looked middle. almost um, like Templar, mm-hmm. kind of. Yeah. It's what been carried it? down in the Preston family for many, many yeah. generations. Religions like to give power to like emblems and artifacts and everything. It's weird. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, what, why is that? But where are we going to go? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I, was, yeah. I, I don't have something any. As I have, I have as no your... further to go on that subject. I just find it. It's, like, it's interesting <laughs> yeah. that we just imbue these things with, like, this has power to help. Mm-hmm. 
Do you think the giant letter P on the side of Shatner's car was in, was a religious emblem to protect I him? Think to protect him, yes. <laughs> yeah. I will They're go with lit- that. Yeah, that a- car does not blow up. No. There That's you go. There you go. True. It's protected by that big That's letter P on the side true. of the door. They're all just for walking no out reason. with P emblems around the yeah. door. It's just like, I'm, I'm good. Maybe that's what was on the emblem for all I know. I didn't get a good yeah. look at it, the, the amulet. Uh, maybe, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but the devil tricks him by using magic and making him think that he's got a uh, snake wrapped around his neck. That would get me. I like that, that part. Would, mm. I thought that was funny. Mm-mm. Yeah, unless you know that trick is coming. Like, unless you know the devil is able to do that shit, you're just like, ah. a cheating mm. motherfucker. That's a cheating yeah. fucking I mean, motherfucker. Serpent, he should have seen it coming. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> he did Whatever. just see him turn dust into water in that in that water well. So, like, he's already seen him transform something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a good scene. I, I, that I was like really that well little bit. It's like, yeah. wait, you need yeah. water? Here you go. That's what I like. The little hints at the trickery and everything. Yeah. That's why I wanted more of this uh, devil good guy western. That we Subtleties, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I want more of that. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. a big showdown. Yeah. But we go straight for well, what, fucking uh, the devil worship. Mm-hmm. I'm like, right what, would the, what would this western, like devil western, how would it go? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> devil western coming soon to the oh Saturday. My God. Devil western. <gasps> we should write a satanic western. Oh, we should. Oh, That'd be so awesome. Let's do it. Yeah. Ooh, I'm all for that. And yeah. have the Coen Brothers yeah. direct it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, oh, my perfect. God. Yes. <gasps> <laughs> uh, you get Roger Deakins to be the DP oh, on yeah. that. Of then. course, yeah, we have to. Yeah, you, we have to. He's, yeah. he's their only DP, so if you get the call, there's a stranger on the horizon. Mm-hmm. He's carrying a coffin behind him. No, we can't do that. Why not? We That's can do Django. anything, Colin. That's Jango. Oh, okay, <laughs> Although in Django, <laughs> it's not, not a person. But what if he was carrying himself in a coffin? You make it like Phantasm, where he oh, can shit. carry it like under one arm, so that everyone's like, "What the fuck? Why can this guy just carry a coffin under one arm?" This is brilliant. Wow, I like this. Right, yeah, he, is he we're doing co- it. like a cloud of fleas or flies? Or Sean did the copyright around? thing. Yeah, copyright two thousand seventeen. There we go. We need a title for this thing. I can't just copyright uh, it. Without a title. We'll do it. We'll do it off mic. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. All right, so <laughs> we'll say it out loud, goddammit. <laughs> remind so me later. Uh, so, so wait, where are we? So, uh, Shatner gets kidnapped. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they take him uh, out to the fucking canyon or something, where that's where you actually hold your your black mass. Right. Do they do that, or do they torture him in the church for a while first? Because uh, he goes they, in there, he's like, "I'll take your challenge." Like a, a well, he goes, he's like, "I'll take your challenge," out. and then he goes and sits in a pew. And oh, he's and he they looks do, conspicuous because he's not him, wearing right. the, the robe. And, and they do him on like the upside down cross thing, right? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. Up there. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, where yeah they yeah. carve the uh, symbol on his chest. Yeah, yeah. There's some weird shit in the church they, first. Yeah, they fight and yeah. he runs away, but he gets caught. Where's yep. the book? Yeah, he wants that fucking book. Yeah, mm-hmm. but the, you have to take him out in the desert for some you know the the candle lit procession or torch lit procession. Yeah, the little no eyes people catch him as he's running out of the church. Oh, we get a foot chase. Yeah, western foot chase. Yep. Yeah. They're slow foot chase. Yeah. yeah. He dodged those people, no problem. <laughs> the ones that were just flinging themselves in from off screen. Yeah. Yep. And I, liked how, the, I liked how the camera started moving before they started running. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. Just very <laughs> obvious. Yeah. Like, oh, shit, slow down. <laughs> uh, oh, the AD had, I'm sure, a lot to contend with that day. All right, yeah. go. Now you go. <laughs> um, yeah, so out in the the desert, they sprinkle the devil's rain on his eyes or something like that, right? And uh, this, well, this is, is what... Like, well, that's way later in the movie. We, like, we're past Tom Skerritt showing up and everything. Well, yeah, it happens a little bit out of order. But as far as what happens to Shatner, oh, yes. he gets taken out to the, the meeting place, and he joins the cult, I guess. He but does. it's weird be- This is the actual Halloween 666. Oh yeah, yeah. This no is, kidding. Uh, wow, I didn't know this was going to happen, and I'm still freaked out. <laughs> well, describe we get, what you're talking well, we about. Get, yeah. we get, because it, when you become, when they apparently uh, Corvus collects your soul, and you become part of this, you lose your eyes, and so William Shatner loses his eyes, and so now he has will, uh, blank, black, vacant eyes. And if you know anything about horror movies, you know why this is a weird look. <laughs> because of the Halloween mask. And so we're basically looking at Michael Myers for the last 30 minutes of this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and it's, it's fucking freaky. And especially it's because, especially because of the way the, the prosthetic makeup is. Like, yeah. he looks plastic. 
So right. it yeah. looks like the mask. <laughs> yeah. The, the like eye appliances yeah. are so rough around the edge that they look like they were cut out with a knife. Like so, they look like a shitty mask. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And then at one point, there's he's like lit by moonlight, and he looks white. And yeah. I, I lost that my one shit. Shot like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was oh. scary. Well, and he, even there's a part where he does the head tilt. And yes. He does. He yes. Has the fucking head tilt. Uh huh. Oh, it's oh crazy. God. It's like crazy. The hair on the back of my neck stand up a little scary bit. Enough yeah. when you have a bunch of people walking around without eyes. Because that to me has always been one of the freak. If I were just to turn around and run into someone who didn't have eyes, yeah, that would freak the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. So just a fucking yeah, it's one of my things. No, but I mean maybe that's why they chose it for the. You know, think, like, well, is that a, a universal f- thing? I well, think it's so. the it's a scary of- look. Eyes or yeah. the accentuation of eyes. Well, I mean, what what do they say, Colin? The eyes are the window to the soul. If you don't have eyes, you don't have a soul. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And so it's freaky enough, and then we get fucking William Shatner without eyes walking around, <laughs> and it's fucking scary. I was. It was the his brow though is kind of like, um, you know, like when it happened to him, mm-hmm. he was in pain or agony, so his brows kind of creased. Mm. That's the only thing that kind of because the Michael Myers face had mm-hmm. a more neutral. But yeah. if you can get past that, right? It's he's it, Michael Myers. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, That's it, fucking. It's weird. interesting how when we did Halloween Resurrection, we talked about how like they did a bad job of like blacking out the eyes, so like mm. the mask looked terrible in those movies. Yeah. But yet this movie that wasn't this even trying to do that does it better than Halloween Resurrection. <laughs> did. See, listen, all you people who've made Halloween movies, this movie. Does it better than yeah, you? Yeah. <laughs> Don't show his eyes. Right. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Creepy people with no eyes. Some people with flames in their eyes. Some yeah. people with flashbacks in their eyes. It's crazy. You got something in your eyes. <laughs> crazy. Uh, Nothing. All right. Freaky. So what's going on with Tom Skerritt then? While well, while well, this has all happened to dear brother Mark. Oh wait, yeah. wait that's the other thing though. Um, Mark is also the uh, like Corvus's goal here. I think is to not only take his soul but to leave his body empty. So Martin Fife, the sixteen mm-hmm. the guy from sixteen yes. hundreds in the family, the wig. can inhabit it, right. which I think is important because I may have missed this at some previous viewing. I'm like this time, I'm like, oh, that's who's the, actually there at the end of the movie. Yeah, it's Martin, not Mark. Mark's mm-hmm. off Mark's in the Devil's yeah, Reign. He's in the fucking yeah. Devil's Reign. Yeah. I was confused yeah. at the fucking point where Tom Skerritt is like, my family's in danger. Sixty four. Did I totally miss that? How does he know his family's in danger? He got a note. He got a note. The sheriff from Friday the 13th, according to Colin. <laughs> in one brief didn't scene. Find any boy. But that wasn't the focus of that scene. The focus of the scene was that girl on that trip having the vision having the vision of everything. Yeah. I, that must be why and I missed he interrupted that. her to be say, so, hey. Right. So he got a note yeah. apparently, which I think is from John, the old dude from the yeah. Right, 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 right. It's like he's like, hey. Oh, sorry, I know you're doing things. My family's in trouble. Because <laughs> <laughs> he just runs. Right there, in like, the middle of yeah. the uh the the uh Whatever that they're doing, yeah, the, with, thing, uh, the, the demonstration of yeah. ESP, yeah, where you hook someone up. I love like the pseudoscience in the seventies because they always do this kind of thing. You hook somebody up to a spectrograph or whatever. Yeah, we are about to isolate the brain wave that accounts for ESP. No, you're not. Here we <laughs> are in 2017. I'm still waiting for this. Hey, Don't. that that kind of language is worked on Travolta later on in his life. So <laughs> oh, actually, right oh, around this same sure. time, right around the same time. This time. bank of blinking lights behind me. This tells you so much. Just hold on to these two things, and you know, admit yep. the wrong right. things you've done in your life, and things will get better for you. Yep. That's all you need. It's not. Yeah. It's What's that process called? Uh, oh, uh, auditing. Uh, auditing. Audit, yeah. Audit. yeah. 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 Right. It's only going to take 48 hours, and it's going to cost $500,000. No bigs. Yep. No bigs. It, he actually shit. got into it right around this time. He this did, right yeah. Right the time he got into yeah. it. Wow. So. Mm-hmm. And per- look yeah. what it did for his career. Holy mm-hmm. shit, we should all join up in Scientology. That, that's how. They're like, do you want to get famous? They're like, yeah. all right, look. Join sweat up. Sweat hog. Now, I don't, that doesn't seem like a big thing, <laughs> but trust me, this show will be beloved. Mm. Number two. Mm. Look, he's talking. <laughs> Well, you know, the other thing that we're missing here, I mean, I guess we know that it became, it was a Scientology thing, but in this movie, we're saying we're putting Travolta and the high priest of the Church of Satan together, and then immediately after this movie, uh, Travolta gets Welcome Back, Cotter. Coincidence? I mean, I always thought Welcome Back, Cotter was... No, because he joined Scientology, and a week later, he got Welcome Back, Cotter. Yeah. 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 And they've taken credit for everything in his career. So it's just one of those things, it's like uh, Anton LaVey's there going like, come on, John, we've got... You're looking, you're shopping around? 
we've got this awesome religion over here. You almost went Transylvanian I mean, there for a second. You're like, yeah, hey, come on, John. I mean, hey, if you yeah. want more background on that, if you watch the documentary Going Clear, they go into John Travolta's. Yeah, that's um, a really great I'm still going to watch this fucking documentary. That's a, yeah. It's a really great documentary. They, they explore John Travolta a lot. He's a yeah. whole, huge part of that documentary. So. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one. You never get free. Ever. No, I don't think it can. I will. Wait, I will. Emily did, didn't she? Yeah, she, she, yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah, she, she did. did. She did. Yeah, yeah. And she was raised in it too, so she was in it deeper than most people. But uh, there, yeah, there's. I will never forget. I'm sure how you've seen it. So you know, yeah. there's like they show a picture of him like being audited for the first time with, with this welcome back Cotter hair, yeah, and, like the most '70s outfit. And I was just like, that's when he died. Like, yeah, that's <laughs> when he died. Like that's, I'm watching. I'm looking at someone's funeral pictures right that's now. That's when like, we lost him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's when we lost him. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now I don't did know. Did we ever have him? Really? I mean, technically well, no. no. I guess technically no. no. We yeah. never the, had him. The seventies, kind of. No. no, no, we, we didn't. Never yeah. had Travolta. No. That's, how, that's how we got famous. Yeah, no, we right. never had him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't know much about the church, the Satanic Church, but didn't the founder kind of say that like it's kind of bullshit? Like he just kind of made it up for fun. I think. I uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I know that the whole thing. <clears throat> Is supposedly that there's no no actual dev, devil worship involved. Yeah, it's it's all, it's about like uh, being your own god kind of thing. Like yeah. not, I mean, not like in a, a Dalit kind of way, but like just you have your own power kind of yeah. over your life. And yeah, I mean, it's actually kind of a it's posi- actually it's a very positive. it's actually yeah. it's actually just a very self worth positive thing from what I understand. Yeah. But yeah. the problem is, is that they go to well, I guess the, their whole thing is, is then they're going to just mock all the establishments of Catholicism and yeah. it's in the ritual. But in doing so, like I've seen pictures of uh, Anton LaVey in this, you know, like his getup was the red horned suit with the tail mm-hmm. and, the, you know, pitchfork kind of thing. And he just looks ridiculous. I guess that's yeah. the I, point. I, I, point. It's like, yeah. Like, I don't think yeah. I don't think he took it all that seriously. I think he was making like a political stance and not necessarily like this is a legit religion. Mm-hmm. Well, and yeah. I think I think not to get too much into semantics, but if I remember correctly, there actually is a difference between the satanic church and the church of Satan. Those yes. are two separate yes. churches. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. yes. So, I don't Antelope know. Is the satanic I'm not sure which one. Uh-huh. Oh, no, I he's the church, 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 church of Satan. There was a, there was like San an Francisco. over, there was like um, a, a, re- a rift. revolution. Yeah, a rift oh. and they split off. From <laughs> yeah, other, so. yeah. The ones who were like, we should be worshiping the devil. The other ones are like, nah. this is all, we're just doing this to meet girls. <laughs> Everyone else is like, why are you talking like that? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's like I mean, a- devil. There's an episode of uh, Metalocalypse, that uh, Adult Swim TV yeah. show, w- where they go, they're shopping around for religion, and they go to the Church of yes. Satan after they've been to a bunch of other churches, and they're like, this is the same fucking thing. It's just as boring as everything yeah. else. And like, they're so disappointed that it is literally just as boring as any other church. I love that episode. There's, great. there's yeah. a lot more nudity, though, in, in the Church of Satan. No, I don't know. The, <laughs> the, Maybe. The people as altars and stuff like that. Uh, but that's why I, but that, I mean, because he was a uh, consultant on, the, on this movie movie and i think that's why he's like okay with it because i don't right, think he, he doesn't like, take it seriously yeah well yeah. to him i'm sure it's a promotion of his brand yeah and his image but yeah. you know he actually did write the book the he, wrote, he literally book. wrote the book he wrote, wrote, he wrote the, the book, book. <laughs> he did. you can't you don't meet too many people who've done that mm-hmm. but there was a lot of i think a lot of Ron like hubbard well, also you, did that uh, yeah, very true. true. Yeah, and, his, and, and he also wrote the and, book. He, and he's the one that said, "If you want to get rich, start a religion." Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. There you go. I think it worked out for uh, Anton Levey there for a while. Mm-hmm. I remember him being on like what was it, the Donahue Show or one of those talk shows, probably in the horns and all that. Yeah, amazing, an amazing man. And at the end of his life, I think uh, uh, Marilyn Manson like joined up or something. <laughs> of course, he, he wrote the foreword to the re- the reprint of the book. Oh, okay. Yeah. Of course, he did. Yeah. So Marilyn Manson is a reverend, Reverend Marilyn Manson in the Church of Satan. Mm. Yeah. Good for him. Yep. So there you go. That's what we know about sa- satanic churches. We're experts. <laughs> <laughs> None of us are card carrying no. members. No. Should no. we be? No. Okay. No. I mean, if anyone's going mean, to be Colin, it's you. <laughs> I was going to say, if they're going to launch a movie career for me, sure. Why not? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Right? Well, like, yeah. What are the benefits yeah. of this? Yeah. Like, you get to be advisors on <laughs> grand Hollywood films. I'm in. That's fine. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, if that's, yay, if that's Satan. guaranteed, how do we how do sure. we stage a black mass? Well, Woo-hoo, you know, Satan, yay! Oh, yeah. What I'm color in. robes do we wear? Ooh, uh, red and black. Is, yeah. I suggest. Mm-hmm. Mm. What about white? Just don't, make sure they don't no. fit too tight because it looks yeah. weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you, uh, you know what? Number one. No, <laughs> no, you yeah. know what? No hoods. 
Just yeah. no, yeah. hoods. no hoods. No hoods. I, don't well, I want think hoods. you have to have the sorcerer's cloak. I think is a is a cut of a hood that hangs down lower. I don't like hoods. They have a negative connotation. What well, if yeah, you just do the big they're... like drapey sleeves? I like instead. the big drapey, oh, sleeves. drapey sleeves. Yeah. 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 If you're doing like this yeah. shit. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. If you're proclamating things, yeah, yeah. It's, it's helpful to have big. Like all sleeves. Stevie Nicks like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Did you believe uh, Ernest Borgnine when he was doing his? See, that's the thing. I thought no, his suit, I didn't at all. His suit. Yeah, he's given the rock star horns. Given like, the horns. <clears throat> did uh, Ronnie James? That Dio took me sue? out of it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I was like, sue? all right, <laughs> knock yeah. it off. Oh, yeah. You're pandering here. <laughs> but he's using. He's like casting spells and oh yeah, ward- warding things off and everything. Yeah. Under the advisement of Anton LaVey, who's in the movie. Did we mention he is you did. in the movie? Right. Wearing a weird gold headpiece. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just because. Authentic. Apparently. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's cool. No, I don't know. Is it? Maybe. It's not really, but. Um, it makes him look higher in rank than Ernest Borgnine, I think, though. Like, that like headpiece he's wearing makes him look But he's still important. in black. How he's can he look? Black. He can't look he's more important red. than a man who's a, turned into a devil goat. Yeah, but he's barely in goat form in this movie. Like, it is for a few minutes, and then he's back to yeah. regular form. And I don't think that's Corbus, either. I think he is actually possessed by the devil at that point. I think so, at that yeah. point. Because yeah. all of a sudden, there's a I poof, and so. like, I like the Wicked Witch of the West or whatever. Yeah. A, yeah. You know, flame goes up and then... Yeah. Well, the, no, way, wow. I assume he's the a, way he's addressing everyone, he's making it sound like yeah, he's the devil. they're his minions. Yeah. 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 He's possessed at that point. Yeah. I mean, why else would he turn into a, a ram? You know? Because it's... Okay. I mean, is it cool? Uh, no. Is it cool? No, because he looks like the trolls from Ernest Scared yeah. Stupid, so it's he's not that cool. Yeah. Not running down yeah. his nose. Exactly. Yeah. Well... All of this action eventually brings Tom Skerritt, whose wife is abducted by the cult. Very They're true. just abducting people. Yeah, that's what just they do. grab everyone you can. At some point, they abduct the sheriff off screen and turn him into an eyeless <laughs> uh, guy. Um, but Eddie Albert, the doctor, the psychiatrist uh, right, yeah. or whatever, the guy who's studying the ESP, I suppose that's not a psychiatrist, anyway, and Tom Skerritt discover beneath the church the devil's reign. What is the devil's reign? The, the title Horned object. orb yeah. <laughs> with souls contained within who are stuck in rain. It's a globe with a, like a TV screen in it. <laughs> it is that has a goat the head on TV, top. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, like yeah. the devil just puts this on to watch. He's like, oh, he kicks up. <laughs> That's your he's Saturday like, night. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, oh what's on tonight? Click. Yep. Ah, oh, my favorite channel. <laughs> just watching souls. <laughs> souls in torment. Why? Yeah. Because no. they're getting drenched. Yes. In the devil's, devil's rain. rain. Is it the devil's pee? Is that what it is? No, okay, it's going too far. I mean, that's yeah. that's we're going into Rawhead Rex territory. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And we don't want to go there. No, we don't. God As no, never again. It kinda, never again. Never again. It looks like those like early 1950s like tube TVs that were almost circular. Yeah, you know yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. it looks yeah. like with a goat shoved Tiny. on top. Yeah. Basically, well, the set yeah. was five feet long, yeah. but the yeah. screen was, was like, like a five foot. inches. Uh, yeah, but like yeah. tiny. But like the shell is like a Faberge egg. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah basically yeah. with horns. Yeah. 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 Why hasn't there been? You're right. We should have merchandising for this fucking. We thing. should. Yeah. We should have merchandising for this. Yeah. All right, somebody out there, Devil's Rain. Uh, Snow globes. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking Snow like globes. Devil's Rain Nightlight, where just yeah. you turn it, you plug that fucking Faberge egg into the wall, and just souls are on the wall. But do you get to hear like oh, 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 oh. all night long? You just hear yeah, oh, that's what I want. I think oh, that's how you raise a child. Yeah. Oh, what if it's you know how they you know how they have those nightlights? They have those nightlights, they have those nightlights that have like brilliant. the they have like the paintings on them, like Monet and stuff. Yeah. They could have like the stained glass. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah, this so we gotta get to building here. This. We can make a fortune. We, what are the rights for Devil's Rain? Officially licensed these? Devil's Rain stuff. I think we could probably afford it. We're probably. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, did we mention that the Misfits has an album called The Devil's Rain with what should have been the Devil's Rain theme song? Should have been. Yeah. When did they release that? Like two years ago. Okay. So they're just be so they're just avid <laughs> fans. <laughs> yeah. It Arnold. should be added to any other release of this movie as a credit sequence. I if there so. were credits for this movie, yeah. oh, there are you? T- what are you kidding? There, the credits were awesome. It was the, the Hieronymus. End credits. Ba- oh I'm well, sorry. the the title sequence was the Hieronymus Bosch um, painting triptych. Yes, very true. Uh, that the was Garden awesome. of Earthly Delights with this beautiful yes. like satanic type over it. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. great. I that loved was it. great. Mm-hmm. That was yeah. great. Yeah, and end credits were uh, a second out. long, and then it was <laughs> yeah. over. Here's yeah. the cast, and now you leave. Yeah. Well, okay, so we got to talk about the centerpiece of this film, the, the thing that was talked about on the marketing, that this movie contained the most shocking climax of any movie you oh. have ever seen. It was the From longest. From the makeup effects people <laughs> who brought you the Planet of the Apes. 
John Travolta is still melting somewhere. Into, as we into talk. tapioca. He's still, He's still turning melting into tapioca. for as long as this went on. He's yeah. still in a process of melting right now. Well, this yeah. is one of those things where if you have the budget for these makeup effects, you're going to make sure that people, the camera lingers on them ad nauseum, and so you get your money's worth. Yeah. That's Bang seen. for the buck. Yeah. Way too uh, long. Way too Way long. too long. Or not long enough. <laughs> way too long. If you want Who that. Who are you as a no, viewer? No. <laughs> what if, do you like? No. If you want that much, you sprinkle it throughout your movie. You don't put it all in one fucking full swoop. Like It was like, okay, it felt like 15 minutes. I don't know how it long did. it was. It did. It felt like 15 minutes. It felt like 15 minutes of people's so faces cool. melting. And then at the end of the 15 minutes, the building finally explodes. But up until that, people that's how are you do it. You blow up the fucking building like, at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. No, I I'm, I'm all for a big Very explosion. satisfied yes. by the end of this <laughs> yes. movie. I'm like, this had everything how I wanted a movie to end. Yeah. People melted for an hour, <laughs> and then they blew up a church. <laughs> that's all it, it, I it, want. It, <laughs> but it seems less catastrophic when it goes on for longer. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. at first, you're like, oh, this is awesome. And you're like, oh, God, will it stop? Yeah. They're like, smoking, it just needs and they're melting. To stop. They're just turning into puddles. John Travolta's chin never melted. Yeah, you know, like true. it never got Travolta down to his like chin. It's you know, times. it's invincible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it will live on forever. Like, yeah. That's why he didn't have it's a immortal. That's why he didn't have a medallion. He just needed his chin. He just, yeah. 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 He's fine. So that's how you beat the devil, I guess. Like if he's Travolta got a little, little soul jar, you just break the fucking thing and Or you make a big to do about it and then get it taken away from you because you're yeah. a fucking That guy, weakest uh, character in the movie, weak. man. Just like I will smash it. Oh wait. Oh oh. You're taking it. Okay. Okay. Every movie has to have a sidekick that fucks everything up. He for everybody, fucked right? everything up. And then Shatner is just like it's the fight for Shatner's quote unquote soul. I guess at this point, just like uh, uh, yeah. If you smash Do it, you'll be back? free. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So she, but this is what's weird about the end of the movie. Like who is our main character? Tom because, Skerritt. <laughs> Shatner. Okay, well, if it's if it's, if it's it's Tom Skerritt, he's sidelined. He's grabbed by the, the cultists and, you know, being held over here. Mm-hmm. And then you've got Shatner, who's part of the cult, bringing the devil's reign back to his master. Mm-hmm. So you've got Eddie Albert then shouting the, this is your last chance in all of eternity to break free of his. Like, shouldn't yeah. that have been? Tom Skerritt? But, yeah, it should have. <laughs> Eddie Albert's the only one who knows everything at this point. Tom Skerritt doesn't know shit. Yeah. Yeah. He actually Eddie read Albert's the book. Eddie Albert's the informed one. Right. Exactly. And he is the uh, hero of the film, then. Yeah. Well, Albert. I suppose yes. it's uh, ultimately Shatner, because he is the one who ultimately yeah. breaks the devil's raid and yeah. melts himself and, and frees else. all their souls. God, they melt for so long. So long. And then the church explodes. And it explodes. Like, and in, in a good way, too. Like, in like the, the tower the top goes. explodes. <sighs> and then everything else explodes. And there was like, like a little after explosion, too. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. A little one. It was a jet yeah. of fire up to the heavens. Yeah. Very satisfied with this explosion. <laughs> as far as any explosions go, we've talked about this. I liked it. Very, very satisfied. Do you think Joel Silver would approve? I of that one? Yeah. Like, if you're going to blow up a small whole church. Whole building. Yeah. 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 If you're going to blow up a small yeah. church, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. It wasn't one of those where the windows blow out and the flames go. No. 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 This was a it, wall. It was shattered. Out. This was a, my. This is, I, a, this is a Wild West Town explosion. Yeah. I can you only know? equate this to. No, I don't think even that. What, 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 what? Oh, like the explosion of the burger factory at the end of Critters 2. <laughs> I was going to say Demolition Man, the because first that building motherfucker blew? blows up. But I'm, I'm more equating it to like small town oh, okay. in the middle of a desert. Okay. Yeah, I was like, that, that explosion in Demolition was massive. Yeah, that, that was, was massive. That was but like, because they fucking load that burger factory full of shit and that fucker blows up. <laughs> and so this is pretty good. Uh, Just saying. Yeah. It's so this is devil critter. fire, though, because there's yeah. like a hole yeah. in the church that leads down That's to hell, hell. It's hellfire. Hell hell yeah. Thank you very much. Yep. I, I stand yeah. correct. <laughs> you're like, you're like, drag, drag, <laughs> devil fire. No, devil fire. Devil, hell fire. The devil has rain. Hell has fire. Yeah. There you go. There it is. Yep. But that's not the end of the story, no, this, because no. uh, uh, our heroes, Eddie Albert, Tom Skerritt, and his wife, I'm sorry, I don't know the actress. Julie. Mm. Character Julie. Julie. Right. Yeah. Mm. Escape. Uh, Julie had been offered up as an offering to the devil at one point and mm-hmm. uh, had some symbols drawn upon her chest. So at the end of the movie, what happens? Well, Tom Skerritt embraces his wife because they've escaped. In a weird-ass embrace. Like, you knew something was up. <laughs> Come yeah. on, yeah. please, hug me. It was awkward, man. 
Well, it became more awkward. It did. The yeah. nice turn. When, well, yeah, when you're awkwardly hugging uh, Ernest Borgnine and then he's laughing in your ear. Yes. Uh huh. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how you end your movie. Mm-hmm. No, it's not how you end the movie. How you should have ended the movie is Ernest Borgnine looking into the camera. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's how it should have ended. Yeah. yeah. But instead, yeah. it's revealed that. The wife is trapped in the devil's reign. Where? We a, don't know. In She's a glass the only case one. of emotion. Clear? Yeah. <laughs> Basically. In the TV. <laughs> She's the first one of the new the devil's new, reign, apparently. Yeah. That that yeah. reveal of like Ernest Borgnine as his wife, like the turn and how like he turned to reveal himself reminded me of in Ghost when Whoopi Goldberg is dancing with Demi yes. Moore and then she turns and then she's in Pat, it's she, Patrick's waist. Yes. Sam Wheat. That's what it looks yes. like. His oh, name yeah. is Sam yeah. Wheat. <laughs> the whitest name in the world. <laughs> Sam Wheat. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. But like it was shot very similarly. It to was. That. It was shot yeah, that I mean, way. I was turn. expecting the wife to come around with no eyes. Ooh, that. But then been, I got Ernest. Yeah. That's what yeah. I thought was going to happen too. I'm like, yeah. oh, oh, they're shooting it this way. Yeah. But so he's man. possessed the wife. Is that so? Corbus will live on. Apparently, yeah. and poor wife is stuck forever. The devil never dies. Colin. That's a downer of an ending. That's a downer of an ending. Is it creepy? Like, it's kind of creepy. Even ending. the music was just like, yeah, this is fucking depressing. We're just going to end. Yep. That's why it should have been him looking at the camera and then fade to black. Mm-hmm. That would have been more effective. Mm-hmm. And then you go but into this the way song. It's just her no. like railing against the glass and, and realizing, realizing hobby, hobby. and the credits are rolling past her and she can't do anything to stop the credits. The credit and she realizes it lasts and she second. realizes it's hopeless. Yep. Yeah, the la- and the motion drains off of her face, and then it's done. The him looking at the camera is when the music from the fucking Misfits comes in. Like yes. that's coming that down. Thing. Yeah, yes. yep. it's coming for you. The yeah. devil's raid. Oh yeah, yeah. Green slime. <laughs> oh, wait, wrong. that's wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. It's different. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that brings us to the end of the movie. You I got any so. further uh, random stray observations about the devil's reign before we go into our wrap up? God bless Wipe Shatner. That's right. A man's a national treasure. A national of Canada. fucking treasure. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, what we're going to do, listener, we're going to... Unless he touched someone at some point, then I mean... Uh, it's, I'm sure that's coming out. Uh, yeah, soon. Uh, so, what we're going to do, if this is your first time joining us, we are going to go <laughs> around the room and review Sorry. each one of us, The Devil's Reign. You're going to find out if you should watch it, because I'm sure you've never heard of it. Or maybe you sure. have, and that's why you're listening to this. Uh, but first of all, we're going to answer some email. And we should probably uh, uh, tell people how. Well, we'll do that on the other side of it. Get our mailman in here. Where is Igor? Igor! Masters! Masters, the mail! I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising. Rising. Thank you, Igor. See, he looks good in the hood. He looks yeah, good. No, he, he looks good he's in got the hood. the hood with a cowboy hat on it. It's yeah. a little, it's a little much, but he's one trying. or the other. Igor, he did his like, eyebrow to look like you he's know, got. He has he the, always he's not had eyebrow. eyes? And this is well, why he, usually he smells because he, he can't get in the shower. But he would yeah. melt. This is weird. He Igor, got one eyebrow. Working. Igor, you need to go back and figure out. Like, pick a look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> just saying, dude. All right. Well, we want you to keep Igor gainfully employed. That yeah. means he's got to bring us the mail. Every <laughs> we week. don't want to fire him. He's starting his keep. And yeah. the way that you do that is you find us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. You follow us on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You write to us via email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you follow us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. We appreciate any and all of those. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so tonight, about the episode The Devil's Reign. B Movie Poster Vault writes in and says, I first heard about this in the Medved's Golden Turkey Awards book while still in school. I didn't see it until a few years ago. The room, oh, so he watched it with a group of friends, and the room gave it a unanimous meh. Good melty finale, but it just seemed to grind along in first gear for the majority of the running time. And I don't think we got full Shatner, and the film <laughs> needed. Full Shatner. I mean, he does scream a lot in this movie. Yeah, there was one that I'm like, is that a dubbed in scream? Because he's like, Rrr! yeah, is there torturing him. Good, oh yeah, good Shatner. If that was a Shatner movie. scream, that was yeah. awesome. B movie poster vault also recommends Race with the Devil. Says that this, was a bit honestly, of a yeah. sleeper hit with the crew. I want to see this movie. I've heard of this movie a couple times. Yeah, it's Warren <laughs> Oates and Peter Fonda, and they, they witness they a, witness satanic, a satanic, satanic murder ritual, and, yeah. and they have to run. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Melty finale that. is the best way I can describe <laughs> this melty movie. Finale. Melty finale. <laughs> melty finale. And <laughs> that's how I hope I go out in life. And with a melty, melty finale. finale. Yeah. 
Wait, what? No, uh, we might. Who knows? My unfab life writes in and oh. says, uh, just watched Ernest Borgnine melt a couple months back. Double featured it with Kingdom of the Spiders. It was a full night of ham acting. That man melts good. It's a good double feature. <laughs> that is a good double feature. Yeah. For sure. Spiders. Stay tuned for Kingdom of the Spiders yeah. in the future. I'm stoked for that. Yeah. Oh, spiders. William Shatner versus all the tarantulas in Texas. <laughs> all of them. Jesus. Oh, Texas, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Texas tarantulas, Texas spiders are the worst, it feels yeah. like. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Have you watched a spider movie yet? Besides, like, the... Arachnophobia. Oh, yeah, we yeah. did watch it. Right. I yeah. wasn't here for that yeah. one. That's are there remember. tarantulas in Texas? I'm uh, guessing. Oh, I'm sure there's, there's a whole kingdom of them. All right. All right. I oh. mean, in this movie, there are. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Basin Voorhees. Basin. Basin. B A E. Son Voorhees. Oh, oh, Bay. 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 That's cute. Bay. Bay. I like that. That's cute. All right. <laughs> uh, says uh, Corbus's followers were the freakiest thing about this film. I saw it a while a while back on AMC's Fear Fest. Uh, mm-hmm. Shatner with blacked out eyes looks awfully like like awfully like the Myers mask. Yeah, he does. Uh-huh. And I think Mustafa Akkad should have hired Shatner to play as Myers while having him spit out that Kirk esque dialogue while hunting uh, down Takai. I'd watch that. I mean, at this point, I'd probably watch it too. <laughs> We're so forgiving of the Halloween franchise. We'll watch anything. Yeah, they yeah, go for it. In front of us, so Make sure. Of it. I don't give yeah. a shit. Mm-hmm. Especially if you're Sean. Am I right? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll forgive a lot of shit. He will. That's where this is true. <laughs> Give me Michael Myers. All right, so now we're going to go around the room and find out what we thought. First up, Michaela. What did you think of The Devil's Reign? I was going for a long pause, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, there, that's <laughs> that's fine. why you were handing it off. That was a handoff. You were no? shattering okay. it. I was, yeah. was going to shatter that shit like, more so than yeah. I usually do, but all right. <laughs> so this is not a good movie. Um, by normal standards of what makes a good movie, but it's a fuck ton of fun. Like, I I don't know. I have a high barometer for bad movies, and I I think that you know this is like this isn't a good movie, but it's a lot of fun to watch, and there's a lot of camp, and there's a lot of good actors in it, and it has a lot of good elements, like we talked about with like the devil western, and I really want to see more of that. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. It, I mean, don't watch this as like, you know, this can be my best of the year of movies I watched this year or anything. It's not going to be. But watch it and with friends and have some fun and just just get on board for the ride. It, mm-hmm. it's, it's a good time. So I would definitely recommend it just for like a good time watch for sure. Yeah. Sean. I agree. I had fun watching this movie tonight. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's ridiculous. It's Shatner in a fucking like little devil western like. Him and Ernest Borgnine, like, I had fun watching everybody work off of each other, and, you know, it hits, like, different levels of ridiculous. People melt for an hour in this movie, and then it ends. Like, there's... This, the, the, and a church blows up. The church blows up in a, in the best way, in the way that satisfied me. And you know, I have my specifics I want in a, a building blowing up. Um, I mean, I had fun watching this movie, like with, just with the people that are in it and what they do. And Borgnine's going like full Borgnine as a fucking devil priest in this movie. Like, it's a fun movie. I think. Uh, I think. Yeah, it's an entertaining watch. I recommend it. And I I enjoyed this movie tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I. I I just thought it was so ridiculous. I love that before we even started this movie, Colin turned around and looked at us like he goes, "Okay, this is a bad movie." Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like normally, oh, okay. Like normally, Colin would show us some weird shit, whatever. But this one, he's just like, "Okay, this is a bad movie." <laughs> like he was just ready for it, and it was it. It was so bad in the most wonderful way. It was so much fun. Nobody it, points at <laughs> Ernest Borgnine like William Shatner. No. <laughs> <laughs> For six minutes. Yeah. You. Yeah, okay, we're doing the point now. We're, you we're can't pointing. You we're can't pointing. We're all pointing point at each other. Yeah. I mean, because you know, we love. It's a radio show. Um, <laughs> no, this, this movie was so much fun. It, it was so ridiculous. And it had all the most wonderful components to make it just the most fun to watch. It, it's a bad movie. Do not go into this movie thinking, "Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be something different." It's gonna, no, just just know you're gonna watch a bad movie and you're gonna laugh your ass off, and it's gonna be so much fun. I definitely recommend it for sure. Awesome, love it. You can't nitpick Ernest Borgnine as a ram. Like yeah, like <laughs> oh, I, I don't think. You can. What's no. the point of nitpicking? Uh, you, yeah, that? you can't. It's just yeah. a fact. Like yeah. we no, we sat here and picked it apart, but like. We all love it for what it is. Mm-hmm. That's the only way to watch this movie. You just gotta have fun with it. 
Well, I'm glad this movie went over that well. I guess that was kind of the way that I experienced it the first time I watched it. Um, I I was kind of like I've been hunting around, you know, uh, I'm like a drive-in movie kind of aficionado, right? You know, uh, the actually going to see movies in the drive-in and finding the kinds of stuff that would play in a drive-in. This movie seems like this was born for that format oh, where it's board. like, you know, yeah. it's something that is on in the background and you're not really paying attention to the minutiae, the details. But when you look at the screen, <laughs> something crazy is going on. Yeah. You know, you're just like, oh, there's something happening. You know, I mean, it does kind of come out of the gate with, you know, hey, we're already in the middle of this thing. The book's gone. We got to find it. Mm-hmm. You know, and then you get Ernest Borgnine going full, full goat makeup and people with no eyes and everybody's melting. And, you know, I mean, it does. <clears throat> I was going to say that it, it feels like it keeps moving through the entire movie, but it I think it also falls into like 70s pacing where they think something suspenseful when somebody's creeping around an old Western town mm-hmm. looking for, you know, which of the four rooms mm-hmm. is the guy <laughs> hiding uh, yes. in? Yeah. You know, it's, it's slowed a bit there a few times where I was like, yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of boring, but it's silly enough right. that you're not like looking away. But you then know? like it demon Travolta's hands yeah. and I'm scared. Yeah. Like, I'm back in. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think yeah. it redeems itself. And then after that, it's like, then we mix it up with the flashback to 1600 and you're like, Okay, now this is a different look and a different you know thing. Like, what's you know happening? William Shatner in a wig goes a long way. Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, and it has a decent production value. I think from a movie of this period, you know, I mean, it looks nice. You know, yeah. I mean, I guess it looks more western than horror movie, but um, yeah, I think uh, the the presence of these you know people who are famous for doing other things slumming it in this you know in this movie. I think you know. I'm, I'm going to recommend it, obviously. I had a lot of fun watching it. It is one of those goofy kind of movies, like, you know, if you like schlock films. So you have to know who you are. You know, if you like stuff like Star Crash and you like, you know, the kind of you ironic humor. Yourself. Yeah, you're not appreciating it for the movie they were trying to make. Mm. You yeah. like the movie that they actually made. <laughs> yes. Which is like, that's yes. it. Oh. This is the kind of movie that sci fi is, the sci fi channel is trying to replicate. Yeah. And oh, going, yeah. And, you know, like, they did it right. They're trying to do it on purpose. Yeah. Sci-fi. Where these people yeah. just did it and they're just like, mm. mm-hmm. Like you have I, no idea what you bravo. did, but it's brilliant. I yeah. desperately want Mystery Science Theater 3000 to do this movie. This yes. Like it should be yes. One of those how have they missed it? How have it's they not PG. done it? Like it's perfect for that. How have like, they not done it so far? Like that. Yeah. I, like the, there's so much raw material here for them. They need, yeah. to, they need to get on this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's got to be a rights issue or something. I mean, but I'm just, I'm, I was surprised and I guess part of the reason why I wanted to bring it was because I saw that it was coming out on, on Blu-ray, which, you know, to me is just amazing that somebody is still putting the right. effort and time into like, here's the 6,000 copies of the steel book, you know. But it's I'm, remembered. Like, I think you can get this benchmark. on the Church yeah. of Satan uh, website, probably. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? It's endorsed by... I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I would say, yeah, you definitely have to see. I mean, if you're a connoisseur of this type of movie, and we've talked about them before, then you know who you are. Then this is a must watch. Uh, the Devil's Reign. Not saying it's good, but it's a lot of fun. So that's yeah. my word on it. it um, so that means next week we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Sean. Sean. What are we what watching are we next watching? week? We're going to watch Stephen King's Sleepwalkers. Nice. Cat people. (laughs) Confusing relationships between those people. Yes. Cats are weird. Oh, shit. This movie has one of my favorite. This is Clovis. Get the bad guy. Get the bad. Get that motherfucker. I can't wait. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, the basement is going dark.